Good morning, YouTube. Um, I know that it's been a while since you guys heard from me, and um, I apologize for that. Um, sorry, uh, today I had to worship this morning. Um, you know, it could get kind of discouraging when you're trying to do something positive and you're supposed to trying to change your life and change other people's lives along the way um it can get discouraging when people are mean or messy um you know i didn't even know like my family was watching until some messy stuff came up or whatever the case may be and it's like people only look for the negative and everything and again it could be so discouraging and it can make you want to quit and make you want to stop but I can't I have other people that are watching and that I am helping along the way you know I just I'm just sharing my growth and how I pep talk and talk to myself and you know I got a lot of people that I got I have against me but I have so many people that are for me and so you would think like why does it matter well the people that are against me are some of my own and it's like we smile in each other's face and we pretend like ain't nothing wrong, but so much is wrong. And you can just feel the words that have been unsaid um, and probably is going to go being unsaid for a long time. And um, I talked to my grandmother Thanksgiving morning and I could hear the hurt um, in her voice. <sighs> so many families are divided. And um, that's the thing. The devil comes to kill, steal, and destroy, you know. Um, and he's definitely succeeding in not just my family, but a lot of families. Like, you know, my Nana is losing her eyesight, so it's not a lot that she could do. And she tried for, um, she did. She succeeded in many, for many years, keeping her family together. And right about now it's so clear that she was and is the glue to keeping us together because she's losing her sight she's not able to cook at the family meals cook up a family meal and invite everybody over so i mean everybody has got into their sec separate groups and um there's so much division. I mean, there's no other way to explain it. And like I said, again, there's just so many things that are being left unsaid, being not talked about, or everybody goes, talks to someone else about the problem that they have with a person instead of talking to each other. And <laughs> great, that's not going to fix anything. It's not going to fix anything. It's not going to change anything or whatever. So, I mean, all I could do is just try my hardest to keep my children together and um that's even kind of hard because one of my kids have strayed <coughs> along the wayside and it's just so much like my heart is so set heavy a lot of times like the family being divided i have um three brothers that i haven't seen and talked to in over 15 16 17 years um And I'm just, the healing and the growth that is taking place, like, at this time, Ginger has to push Ginger, and Ginger has to take care of the kids, and deal with the family being divided, and just so much stuff, and just sometimes it gets so heavy, so I just have to just, for real, for real, talk to my creator. Um... I've been fasting for two months and I've just taken a break around Thanksgiving and I'm about to get ready to fast again. And um, 
give you guys an update on the seizing the negative thoughts in the um, box. Um, I haven't forgot about that, so I will update you guys on that. Um, start up my some story times and continue to go on with what I'm doing. Um, again, I'm I'm sorry. I really do apologize for not posting and not being consistent. Um, like I said, I was a little discouraged, and the people that you want to support you nine times out of ten won't or they say they do but there's no action about it and you're gonna have to be okay with that um and then too you know people got their own lives but it just was so discouraging that hey i didn't know anybody in my family was watching until they picked out a, somebody picked out one piece and took it back and oh you should look like look at this and you should see this and it just started a whole nother problem you know, people don't support the good stuff, you know. Some people just decide, desire to see you fail or whatever. Um, I know in raising my kids, I try my hardest to not just recognize their bad points or the negative or whatever the case may be. I try to make sure that... Um, I let them know they're great and that the positive things that I see them doing and trying to do, you know, and I support it full off, but you can't expect people to, to do what you do, you know, you just can't. Um, there's some, been some under talk, lying talk about family meetings. I don't think that's going to work. I don't even want to sit in a family meeting tried those it didn't work everybody got their own opinion and they're gonna stick to it so I mean I just pray that things get better um but anyway I will be more consistent I will be posting more videos and um let's get this thing back on the road I love you guys and I just thank you for the very few that are watching and have tapped me on my shoulder and said hey um you are helping me um, and I was, I'm seeing your growth and I'm seeing you shine and I'm thankful for you guys. So let's get back on it. I love you guys. And oh yeah, you see this? My hair is growing soon. I'll be able to take off the wig and do me a little twist out or something like that. Like it's really growing. I'm so happy for that. You see this when I first started out I didn't have like no hair well I had well through the years I was missing my edges and behind the edges like right up in here that was like completely gone and in the back like the palm of my hand the back of it like right here all that was completely gone and I would like braid or weave the around like I had a little piece around here and as soon as it grows I would like braid it or weave it and then it would pull it back out or whatever and after about 18 20 years of dealing with it I just finally July the 30th decided July the 30th 2016 this year I decided to shave it completely off so I took it completely off I cut it down 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 completely off and this is my growth so far yeah so that's the update on that and oh um this last month was the month that I was trying to, like, really get with God, and he helped me lose my weight, because, you know, they're not, they say you're not supposed to fast to lose weight by any means, um, but some things can only come through praying and fasting, and I knew my weight was an issue for me, personally. Um, everybody else would tell me I look fine, but for me, personally, I felt like it was so much baggage 
the weight represented so much baggage. So I have lost 15 pounds in the last month and a half. And I plan to lose another 50. So, um, like I said, I took a break for Thanksgiving. I enjoyed my Thanksgiving family, my Thanksgiving dinner with my family and stuff like that. Um, I didn't go too hard because I had given up dairy and meat sodas and sugar um i've had some sugar and i've had a little, some dairy i had some mac and cheese um some ice cream and peach cobbler and stuff like that but i could not touch the meat um i'm just scared i think that it will make me sick but i'm going back on the non-dairy no meat um no sweets no sodas none of that stuff because you know getting ready ready for my best friend and cousin's uh wedding and I'm so excited for her like man this chick has really held me down like my entire life I have tried to attach myself to so many other friends and I have met some good really good friends along the way but man this one friend has really she's never changed on me We've grown up together, we're cousins through family, um, through marriage, but I love her to death and I'm so excited that she's getting married and I'm so excited that she chose me as a bridesmaid, like that is so bomb. She didn't have to choose me and I'm really thankful for that. Um, so the focus is that I can't be focusing on all the other negative stuff because if you do, man, it'll just hold you down. I'm about to get up and comb my nine-year-old's hair and make sure she's ready for school and get ready for work. I love you guys. Um, happy Sunday. Embrace your surroundings and what's going on. And hopefully it'll cause growth and not leave you stagnated or hurt or in pain. <sighs> I look a little crazy, but I'm really falling in love with my natural beauty. Okay, no, for real. But I love you guys.